This is Basha on the beach in Emerald Isle, North Carolina. End of December, cold. Not as cold as in other places, and of course no snow. But check this out. There's somebody actually in the water, wearing shorts. <laughs> Wouldn't catch me doing that. There's a few people out here. Low tide, so lots and lots of sand. And here is the really great news. Check this out. My brand new machine. This is the Technetics G2 Plus. So it's a lot like my older machine, but it does have some uh, additional features, including a backlight and uh, some others. Uh, obviously the pinpoint is now separate. It's down here at the bottom. Uh, so I'm gonna take it out for its first, first run on the beach. All right, let's go digging. All right, and right here, my very, very first target with, uh, with my G2 machine, uh, G2 Plus. And uh, so this was four inches down, pinpointed that. And uh, that was 86, 87. And check this out. Got me a quarter. <laughs> first quarter with my G2 Plus. Love it. And right here solid 78 and look at this a nice big sinker this feels like uh, at least three to four ounces all right and right here near the water fairly close to the surface look at this look at the size of this hook check this out this is massive. Wow. All right, and right here, look at this. Got a nice little knife that got washed out. Look at that. And actually, this one looks pretty good. Well, I'm getting it off the beach. All right, right here, got an 88, 89. And here's my prize. <laughs> got me a quarter. So I've been working this cut right here. It's a very small cut and uh, on top of the cut, uh, not in at the bottom and just kind of finding quarters right along the edge, including this area right in here. So here's the little cut and uh, quarters. So three quarters so far, including this one out of this hole. Here we go. There are all these cruddy quarters. And right here, just a few inches down, got an 88, 89, and that's usually a quarter. And there it is, right here. All right, so check out the height of this cut right here. I'm standing on the beach and I can't even see uh, over the top. This is really crazy. This is erosion, folks. So I'm going to work this area and uh, hopefully I find something over here. It's a really good spot. And right here, just a couple inches down. <laughs> Look at this, got me a quarter. All right, very close to the surface here. Got a solid 88 and you know what that means. It is. It's a quarter. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. And at the top of this cut right here, got a solid 76. And there it is. It is lead. Look at that. A sinker. All right, so five and a half hours on the beach, two different areas. Started in Emerald Isle and then work my way east of Emerald Isle. Uh, but anyway, as far as uh, the beach conditions, uh, very clean, very clean, uh, lots of sand, and um, I guess they're not ideal condition for metal detecting. But uh, I did search for uh, 
for sand cuts. So there were quite a few old, smaller sand cuts that were eroding away. And what I have found was that targets were ending up on top of the, just going straight over uh, the, uh, the cut and landing on top. So I ended up with some quarters and sinkers up at the top and that was great. And then the second area was the one with the massive, massive sand cut. Over six feet tall, uh, extremely fragile part of our island, very narrow, and naturally the water keeps chiseling in. So it could be posed massive uh, danger to the homes that are located along that shore. Uh, loved my detector. Uh, so the machine did great. This machine fits me like a glove. It's very light weighs two and a half pounds with a one nine volt battery so I really appreciate that as I can be out there for a long time without any damage to my shoulders or, or my back but anyway here's all that I found so I've got some items right in here clearly fishermen leaving this behind got three sinkers got this knife this was washed out it's got a little bit of rust on it but not too bad so I cleaned that off got this little guy right here and look at this hook. So here's the size of this hook. Don't know what they were trying to catch, but I did manage to get this off the beach. Pretty dangerous stuff. And uh, there's more goodies. Um, well, just a little bit of trash. So here's some can slaw. Uh, we've got three pool tabs, dog tag that has name and phone number on here. So I'll probably give them a call. Got a battery and this right in here Look at that with the little anchor. Uh, it's either a child's bracelet or uh, it could be a small dog's uh, collar. Uh, lighter that doesn't work. And these two little items right in here. Uh, for Oh yeah, picked up some seashells. So there's areas by those large cuts that uh, the water dumps. Lots of heavier stuff obviously. and. Uh, so I dropped these and I picked up some seashells for the coins. So I've got 15 quarters this time. 1970 and 1972 are the oldest. So quarter count for the year is now 353. So close enough 2017 with 353 quarters. Got four nickels, eight pennies. And that area with those massive cuts over six feet tall truly truly amazing uh, I did notice that there were footprints in the cut so I actually backed off just a little bit uh, down slope about um, 10 feet or so and I, I was able to pull out some quarters so <laughs> happy I did that I wonder what the other person found I would like to take the uh, this opportunity to wish all of you a very happy new year and for all my fellow diggers uh, Good luck and happy hunting in 2018. Thank you for watching.